Psalm 118. Verse 22 says this, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's just unpack those three verses. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. In context, that, that's talking about Israel and about God's faithfulness to his people Israel. How Israel had been rejected by so many of the nations, kicked around like a rolling stone. And yet this stone that had been rejected by the nations, in its history, had become the very center of the nations and had been uh, served and respected by so many of the nations, conquered many nations, uh, many of the nations bringing tribute yearly to Israel. And so the nation that had been this, this, this vagabond, this reject of a nation, had become a great nation through the faithfulness of King Jesus, particularly in the reign of David and, and King Solomon. It also looks forward to the time when the glory of Israel will be restored. There's always this forward-looking prophetic element in the whole of the Bible, and, and especially the Psalms. The Psalms are no exception. It's actually a very, very good case in point that it is always forward-looking that there is hope for God's people, that God's people, even though rejected for the moment, will become magnificent, glorious. And what we find out is that this passage, especially this part that I just read to you, it refers, most of all and first of all, to King Jesus. It is used in the New Testament by Jesus himself in Matthew 21, verse 42. And in other passages too, Acts 4, 11, Ephesians 2, 20, 1 Peter 2, 4 through 7. You'll find that in your Gospel Transformation Bibles if you have it there. It is a reference to Jesus. It is about the work that God has done, how Jesus was rejected by his own people. And through his rejection, he became the salvation, not only for the people of Israel, but the people of all nations, including people like you and me, who have nothing to do with historical or national Israel. It, was, it is marvelous. And so the Apostle Paul has to stand back and say, this is marvelous. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought of it? And if you really look at all the dynamics of the gospel and what, Jesus, what God did through Jesus, that one man, not even a significant man by human standards, a Jewish peasant, a little man from a little and rejected nation, God took that stone, that rolling stone, and made it the cornerstone, the foundation stone of his eternal kingdom. No other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. You who have trusted in him as Lord and Savior, your, your life, your future, your family, your church family, this kingdom of which you are part, has this foundation, King Jesus, that will never be moved. In this sense, the psalm applies to us who often feel rejected and so dejected in this life. And you may feel rejected from your family. You may feel rejected from your friends. It may seem that no one understands you. But understand, God is in the business of showing himself strong in those who are weak. There is not a single victim within the sound of my voice if these, these words are falling on faithful ears. Not a single one of you is a victim, and so none of you is justified in having a victim mindset or a poor me mindset. You are a victor in Christ, and your struggles, your loneliness, alienation, your emptiness is meant to be food for you. Food for you. So receive it as such. Though it is hard for the moment, 
Jesus is the one who knows you better than you know, than you know yourself. He is the one who saves your tears in his bottle, writes them in his book. So much he cares for you. Even the numbers of your hair are, the, hair, the number of your hair is counted. And so respond then, even through your tears, or even just flat out joy, leverage each moment, high or low, to give thanks to the Lord. We have ample reason to give thanks. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Why? For his steadfast love endures forever. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And it ends where it began. Verse 29. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Exact same words to bookend this beautiful song. Then yes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Come, let us rejoice. No matter what your circumstances are, in the Lord, divorced from your circumstances, in the Lord, we can rejoice because God has made this day. Let's pray. King Jesus, this day is meaningful because of you. This day is a day of growth because of you. This day is a day that is not wasted because of you, because of your magnificent payment that you paid on our behalf, on my behalf. Let my brothers and sisters embrace this truth that if nothing else is on their side today, you are. And only you matter. Your gaze, your approval, your acceptance, your pleasure is all that matters. And we have that because of you, King Jesus. Holy Spirit, bring this truth home to us right now. Bring this home to us right now. May we never even toy with a victim mentality. Perhaps a martyr mindset, but not a martyr mentality or a victim mentality. Perhaps with the thought that I must die to myself this day, but with the view of, uh, to a view of seeing that Jesus is our foundation and that you have made this day. And though I die, this is the path of life for me. Help us to remember that if even death must be subservient to your glory and our good, then truly, what do we have to be discouraged about? We give thanks to you in this day that you have made. Lord, especially for the one, Lord, that feels they have been dealt, he has been dealt, she has been dealt, a bad sort of circumstance. Lord, you are the one, just as you did in Jesus, who takes the weak and confounds the strong. Let this person know, know that he or she is especially loved. In the name of Jesus, our cornerstone, we pray all these things. Amen. Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart lord i need you oh i need you every hour i need you my one defense my righteousness oh god how I need you. Where sin runs deep, your grace is more. Where grace is found, is where you are. And where you are, Lord, I am free. Holy in me yes where you are Lord I am free holiness is 
Christ in me. Oh, Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness, oh. So teach my song to rise to you When temptation comes my way When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you Jesus, you're my hope and stay Teach my song So teach my song to rise to you when temptation comes my way When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you Jesus, Jesus you're my hope and stay My righteousness, oh God, how I need.